Welcome to video number nine. Just want to say congratulations. You've reached the end of this video course. Now it's time to take what you brainstorm, what you've organized, the ideas, and turn it into a chatbot. So it's time to implement. So let's go ahead and go to a chatbot service and walk you through step by step. Okay, so the software that we're going to be using is called ManyChat.com. There are many different websites, software applications out there that you can use, but this one specifically focuses on Facebook Messenger. Now, like I said in the previous video, there are many different chatbot systems, and they may not really relate to Facebook Messenger. So you need to make sure that you find the right one that is compatible to the Facebook Messenger bot. And what's nice about ManyChat is they focus purely on this. So as they are continuously updating their system, they're focusing on improving the Facebook Messenger bots. So if you click on pricing, it does cost money, yes. The one that is free, you get unlimited broadcasts and all that, but you definitely want to eventually upgrade to the pro version. But if you're just getting started, recommend that you just use the free one until you start making some leads and then upgrade to this one. Now, as you can see, it says proper payment for every size. So if you're just getting started and you only have about 500 subscribers, it's only about $10 a month. So as you start to build your subscriber base, as you can see here, the price then begins to increase. And that makes sense. If you're getting a lot of subscribers and you're converting them, then why not? You might be making that much or 10 times or 20, 30 times more. All right. So start out small and then move up. So that's nice to have rather than paying one time fee and that you that may be way too high. So let's go ahead and click get started for free and we'll see you on the inside. Okay, so I'm logged in and I want to say that the free account is very limited. So if you want to see the other features, you are going to need to upgrade to pro. So if you're serious about this and you are ready to go and you have your mock up ready and everything like that, then I would just go ahead and upgrade to pro. But I wanted to show you the basics and the free account as well. So up at the top, we have dashboard, which just shows you how many subscribers you have, your audiences, your live chat, your growth tools, and broadcasting. Now, broadcasting is something that you would use after you have built a good amount of subscribers. And then broadcasting means that you are going to broadcast or send a message to all of those subscribers. So you can't broadcast unless you have subscribers, right? Then you have automation and then flows. Now flows is really where the different chat bots are. So these are kind of like pre-created templates. So now templates down here is a little bit different than flows. Templates allow you to create kind of a flow, but then repeat it over and over again. So as you can see here, we have flows and you have opt-in messages. So it's not that you have to start from scratch. You can start from scratch. You can click new flow here, or you can use a template. So as you can see here, we have opt-in messages. Great for getting access to people's email addresses. And we've got keywords. We've got unsubscribe, subscribe. We've got sequences. We have welcome messages. We have replies. And we have main menu content. So these flows you can choose one and then you can edit it or you can click new flow and we'll just call this scuba test. We'll click create and there we go. So now that we have created the actual mock-up design, we have a good idea of how to set things up. So if I go back over here and I just grab this here, and then I can go back over here. I want to say that the first message that they get is this. So we have that there. 
add a button. And then we don't need to add a button. So welcome to Scuba Bot. I'm here to answer your questions. Click here to get me starting to talk. So this can actually go into your actual bot. So let's grab the second message. Remember they go straight here. So then we'll add a quick reply. We'll add this text here. So I added a button, as you can see here, and this one says purchased, yes or no. So based on that, we decide to send them to the next option. So Now, one thing you definitely want to do is put delays in between. So let's see here, that is there. We're gonna show this immediately and then show this here and then have a delay right here. So we're gonna move this down. Okay, so as you can see, I said, have you purchased from us? Yes, yes or no. All right. Okay, so now what we need to do is redirect them from the yes to somewhere else and to no to a different flow. So if we go back over here, we remember that from this, you have yes and no. If they say yes, they go here. If they say no, they go here. So how do we break them apart and branch them to different areas. In many chat is called a flow. All right. So if you click this button here, it'll give you some options to send a message, open a website, get them to have a buy button, a smart delay, a start another flow. So we're going to click start another flow. And additional ta actions, you can add tags so that you can and get an idea who's actually going through. Tags are very important, but it, for example, if you want to figure out, okay, did they click yes? Did they click no? How many people click yes? How many people click no? How many people answered this thing? You can also subscribe them to a sequence, unsubscribe them, mark com conversation as open, notify admins. You can do a lot of different things, which is neat. But for now, we're going to just leave it as it is. We're going to start another flow for that. So we can see. So this is new flow. And then this is the next step. So then we send them another message. And remember, we say, thank you for being a loyal customer. First name, how can I help you? So we're going to grab that. And move it over here. And let's move back over here. And if somebody clicks no, we're gonna start a new flow, another flow, branch it off, click done. And we'll do the exact same thing here. So we'll grab it here and we'll plop it in. So as you can see, it's really not hard to create a chat bot at all. If you have problems or anything, you can go down to the help and read the help documentation. They have really good step-by-step -step video tutorials as well that you can use. But similarly to the botmock.com, you can actually click on preview to get an idea of how everything looks like. So that's the beauty of that. And that's the process. So remember as a recap, number one, you need to brainstorm. Number two, you need to organize it via a mind map. And number three, you need to create a mock-up of your chat so you can visually see it. And number four, you begin to implement the whole process. So I hope you enjoyed this video course on how to set up a Facebook Messenger chatbot. And as you can see, 
99% of it really goes into the ideas, figuring out your end result and brainstorming and the implementation process is actually quite easy once you fully understand that.